Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how I made this yummy, cheesy enchilada rice dinner. It looks a bit messy, but oh my, it sure tastes good. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I made it. So here's the lineup of ingredients that we're going to be using. We have salt, pepper, chili powder, some cumin, rice, olive oil, canned corn and canned black beans, red enchilada and green enchilada sauce, some garlic and onion, a couple mini bell peppers, if you have the regular ones that is fine, and then we have some Mexican shredded cheese. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is prepare our rice. I'm just following the package instructions on the back of my rice. It's just two cups of water, one cup of rice, and a dash of salt. Once the water starts boiling, you're going to cover your rice, put it on low and simmer for 15 minutes. Okay, so the next step while our rice is cooking is just to chop up our veggies. Um, I'm using two cloves of garlic, the whole onion, and then I'm going to dice up all those little peppers there and put them in a bowl until I'm ready to cook them. And if you are wondering, these are what my vegetables look like when I've got them all cut up. The garlic is at the bottom, you can't really see it, but it's just in a little mince. And then the peppers and the onions are just in little cubes. Alright, so our next step is we're going to start with the vegetables. Um, I have the burner over medium high heat and I'm going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil to the pan. Now once the pan and the oil are nice and hot, we're just going to go ahead and add all of our veggies. Give these a nice stir and we're going to cook them for about 5 minutes or until they start to soften. So this is what my vegetables look like after about 8 minutes of cooking. They're just starting to brown. I want to get them a little bit more done, but I'm actually going to go ahead and add my seasonings right now. First I'm adding about an eighth a teaspoon of black pepper. Next, about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Next is a fourth a cup, a fourth a cup, a fourth a teaspoon of cumin. Last is half a teaspoon of chili powder. Just give those seasonings a good stir with the veggies and let that cook for about a minute together. Alrighty, it's time to add the rest of our ingredients. I'm adding a 10 ounce can of red enchilada sauce. Next is the 10 ounce can of green enchilada sauce. The next thing I'm adding is corn and black beans that I put in a strainer and rinse them. Give these ingredients a good stir. And now it's time to add our rice. Alright, so I just added the rice to the pot. I'm just going to go ahead and give this a good stir. Alrighty, and this is what it looks like when everything has been stirred together. I'm just going to leave this on the stove, let it cook how it is like this, just let the flavors marry for about five minutes, and then we're on to our last step. Okay, so after about five minutes, this is what it looks like. It's starting to boil, so the extra enchilada sauce is cooking out. Next, uh, last thing we're going to do is just add our cheese right over the top of this, right into the pot. I'm just going to add the whole bag because I can make this cheesy. And then just sm smooth this out with the spoon. Alright, so there's the cheese smoothed out. All we're going to do is put a lid on this and let it go for about three minutes or until the cheese is all melted. Okay, so it's been about four minutes now. The cheese hasn't completely melted on mine, but that is fine. I'm going to go ahead and spoon me out some anyways. Alright, so I have myself a good healthy serving here. I'm just going to go ahead and get some garnishes for it. And the first garnish that I added was just a few sprigs of cilantro. And then I followed the cilantro with just a little dollop of sour cream. So this dish, it does have a little kick from the enchilada sauce, but when you eat it with that cheese, just that balance of flavors, it just works out perfectly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you in my next one.